What's up, guys? Once again, you're welcome to our channel today. All right, there's confusion as President Tinubu supporter invade the National Assembly over fuel price hike. Now, Tinubu supporter has invaded the National Assembly over the hike in fuel price following the national outcry arising from the massive hike in pump price of petroleum uh, motor spirits known as PMS, as a result of subsidy removal by President Bola Ahmed Tenobu. A group of pro-government protesters in support of the policy have stormed the National Assembly main entrance. The protesters were at the National Assembly on Thursday afternoon to record their unflinching support with the government. This is surprising. They are not coming here to come and, you know, um, protest the price and the hike in fuel price, but they are here to show up support, to show their unflinching support for the government. Now, according to the information, the protesters were led by Sunday Atta, the convener of Stand Up Nigeria, said that they were demonstrating to show their solidarity with President Bola Tenebu over his decision to remove subsidy. Atta said that the protesters were aware that the removal of the subsidy would lead to an increase in the price of petrol, but they believed that it was the right thing to do. He said that the subsidy that had been a canker one that had eaten deep into the economy and its removal would free up funds that could be used to develop other sectors of the economy, Atta said. Atta also said that the protesters were confident that President Tenebu will use the funds from the subsidy removal to benefit the people of Nigeria. All right, so I'm going to be re uh, going through the comments. A lot of Nigerians have reacted to uh, this protest. You know, so when people saw the protests at the National Assembly, normally everybody had thought that it was going to be um, a protest against fuel price increase, but it turned out to be the opposite, and it's such a humiliation, it's such a shame. Many people say that this is a paid group. It's a Tenobos group, and it is paid. You know, normally, if you if you watch the government, you discover that this government is so funny. Now, when there is a protest, what government usually do now? They bring another opposing protester who support the government to counter those people who are protesting against the government. That's what they usually do. Okay, look at the protests that came to the tribunal. You know, um, obedient protests, you know, against, you know, some frivolities people will notice at the tribunal and also against Tenebu swearing in. There was a protest that was that was actually building up in Abuja. Before you know what was happening, you saw Asari Dukubo sent his men to go and counter the protest. Now, this is what they, they've been doing. Okay, also remember NSAS protests. When NSAS came up with the protest, the government also brought out their own pro-protesters that support the government to counter the NSA. So this is not a new thing. This is a paid thing. Everybody knows government always hire crowd, always hire protesters to support them so that to look as if this thing is not their fault, but it's a fight between uh, opposing ideas. So, but what do you guys think? I'm going to go through some uh, comments here. Uh, somebody said, not necessary. Abacha recovered uh, looted funds. All the fund borrowed. EFCC recovered funds. Cash from sales of crude oil have also asked, where have they used it to develop the nation? What make you fools think money recovered from not paying subsidy is going to be different? He just created an avenue not to not minding what the masses is passing through since he knows there's no money in the post. Now, what this guy is saying, he's saying that what about the funds recovered from a bachelor loot? What about the funds the FCC have recovered? What have they used the money for? Out in now, there's no transparency. Nobody knows what the money has been used for. Even recently, there was a court injunction. There was a court order mandating that Obasanjo Yaradua, Yaradua is laid down, good luck Jonathan, and Buari should account for how they use Abacha loot. After that, you have nobody have come out. You see, this is a country where impunity reigns supreme. 
Nobody is responsible. Nobody is ready to account to the nation. No accountability. That's the problem. All right. Another person here said, this bunch of fools, nothing but agbaros who depend on extortion and calling white black as occupation. Another guy here says, he says, that my happiness is that you people singing praise are going nowhere. It's true. They must have greased your palm and rub oil in your mouth, but it will not be long. You will come out again hungry, foolish old group. Another guy here says, increasing the minimum wage and giving other palliative when, how, and soon. Another comment here says, but they are giving the subsidy for who, for which money and from where there are still some questions nigeria need to ask as regard the subsidy removal another guy here says the supporters are psychophants and hungry lions that need to feed that need food to eat it's, if people can still support this conspicuous ugly situation meaning the country is in a state of abysmality Poverty has prevented and eaten deep into the society to an extent that there's no longer